brighter. Yeah, it goes brighter and flashes. All right, stop. Get the hell out of the way! Stop, son. It's 12 30 in the morning. All right, guys. You can get all the crack kids over here. Get off my hand! Hello. This focus box will not focus on me. There we go. I don't want to hear about focus <clears throat> problems. I really don't. Wolf Tick Nation. Thank you guys for tuning in to once again a very special Wolf Tick video. What, episode. what are we doing? I don't know. I mean, guys, are you familiar with this bike? Everybody's like, when did you guys get that? No, you're not seeing things. We have a GT. Laguna? Women's Laguna Pro. Yeah. It's our first women's bike on this channel. And no, yeah. I'm not riding it. Wolfman's no. not riding it. No. My buddy David owns a Burris Heat and He's His not riding wife, it either. No, he's not riding He might be. He's not riding it either. His wife, Melissa, this is her bike. And uh, old David Burris hit us up and said, you know what, guys? I would like uh, to use all of your affiliate links to get some goodies for mine and my wife's bike. And, nice plug. Yeah. And we want this thing wolf ticked, you know? Yeah, so we it's thought, hey, to get wolf ticked. Yeah, I said, don't you try to do it yourself, David. You just leave this up to the professionals. <laughs> the, okay? Well, oh, we, well no, we, no, you just leave it up to us. Are we calling somebody over? Or? <laughs> <laughs> just leave it up to us. We will wolf tick your wife's bike first. And then if that goes good, then we might look at doing some upgrades to your bike. And David also has the if GT. If it goes good. If it goes good. <laughs> it's, he's going to experiment on his wife's bike. If, she, if it falls apart when she's riding, he knows not to bring in. <laughs> he's like, you just give my bike back. So uh, David's also got a GT Aggressor Pro, which you guys might be seeing on the channel here in the near future. So the plan on today's uh, episode, the goal, is to put a RockShox Judy Silver TK 120 millimeter treble floor oh, wow. on this bike. Okay, and these are all affiliate links. So you guys can find affiliate links down below in the description. A Risk headset. We're going to be popping out that 34 millimeter ball bearing headset and putting in a Risk sealed headset. So it's not. We can't say sorry, Jason. Can't say sorry, Jason, on that one. A KRSEC stem, also an affiliate link, and you guys are going to not want to fast forward because you want to see what this looks like. Once you open it up and look at that, don't show the camera. We've got oh, some seven, some seven sixty core oh, bars, wow. and these are the same exact bars that we put on our uh, Ascension the sauce and we've got some grips we're putting on melissa's bike today where does come from oh these these right here mm. oh david didn't pack any uh didn't pack a lunch he didn't give us any grips to go with melissa's bike so our boy raxman got them oh raxman 80 he sent us like six pairs of these and i'm sure he won't mind you know so uh, raxman we're gonna be using your grips on melissa's bike so the goal is to get the whole front of the bike done today, and then hopefully next week we'll do a little mail time with it. We've got a whole new crank set and a group set to go on this uh, Women's Laguna Pro, size small. And the only thing Melissa's done to this bike, it's got Maxxis Aggressor tires on it, both front and back, and we've got some Race Face Chester pedals. All right, guys, without further ado, let's jump into it. Let's wolf tick the Women's Laguna uh, GT well, let's, Pro. let's weigh it to see what it is right now. That's a good idea. And then we'll weigh it after. Yeah, let's weigh it we'll before. We'll call this uh, part one or stage one. Of okay, yeah, that's tick. a good idea. Let's weigh it before, and then uh, we'll get to the upgrades, and we'll weigh it again. Yeah. All right, let's see what we got. All right, so we got... Zero. Let me say it again. 33.40 pounds. Mm -hmm. And in kilograms, we got 15.15. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. 33.40 pounds. Let's see what's uh, putting the fork, bar, stem, headset, grips. Let's see what kind of uh, weight we, we shed off of this puppy. All right, guys. We're going to start tearing this puppy down. And it looks like we've got, what, 33.40 pounds total weight. Now with these RockShox Judy Silver TKs, the 120s, we have the exact same one. And that was one of the heavier forks for it being a 27.5. Now one thing I'm curious on is uh, Melissa and David have had their bikes. I'm going to go with uh, probably two years now, maybe a little bit longer than two years. And this headset still feels pretty smooth, but I'm really curious to break into this and see exactly this being, you know, of uh, the upper echelon uh, budget bikes. I'm curious on seeing what the uh, bearing shape is you know are they going to be really tore up are they going to be missing is anything going to be any type of shaved pieces of metal or anything in there i'm curious okay got a little rust on the steer tube all right so all of the bearings on the bottom seem to be intact it's still greased up very clean not one bearing outside of the uh, little keeper and then down there too okay cool pretty good shape and this uh this sun tour does weigh a little bit 
And this is a 27.5, right? So is this the same fork that they put like on the GT Aggressor Pros, just with different stickers on them? Yeah. All right, so one thing I wanted to do just to make sure of, and I'm pretty certain that the uh, head tube here is a 34 to 34, but just to make sure, I told David, I was like, man, here, I'll send you a bunch of fill links. So he ordered everything, and on that risk headset, that's a 34 to 34, so we're about to get the caliper out. Just to be sure. And we have got a 33.42 millimeter headset. So that is going to be a 34 millimeter headset. Good. All right, so let's go ahead and start off. Uh, let's go ahead and start stripping these bars down. And we're going to be putting these core bars on there. We're going to be keeping the brake levers and the shifters. I guess we can kind of take the shifters off to the side, actually, because uh, we're going to be doing a whole new group set, and if things go as planned, that group set video will be out next week, and uh, you guys are not going to want to miss what group set we're putting on this thing. It's a good one. All right, guys, so we got the bar stripped down. We got the headset punched out. Now I'm going to show you guys the Risk headset that David ordered. Now this here is the exact same headset. It should be the exact headset that we're running on our GT Aggressor Pro. And I will say, man, we've been running that thing. That was, heck, one of... Whenever we did the fork upgrade, I think the second fork upgrade on it, we've been running the risk, and it hasn't given us any problems. I mean, it was either this or the Jessica, right? Sorry, Had we Jason. ordered it, sorry, Jason, we would have ordered the Jessica, but David likes the uh, risk look. Check that out, man. It's a really good looking headset. It's got a pretty we, cool we stem cap. Both. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We did it on GT Aggressor Pro. Mm -hmm. And this is the exact same one. You can see right there, it says, Riding is my life. Pretty much just uh, your budget uh, risk headset. And this thing right here, I think is like $19.99. You guys can check in the affiliate links below. Pretty damn cheap, man. Yeah, it's, it's 20 bucks or what? maybe even under 20 bucks. Yeah, it comes with its own crown race. And that is something that you guys can do uh, if you guys have the GT Aggressor Pro or the uh, Laguna Pro. The headset, you can take that off, or sorry, the um, crown race, you can take that off. I took it off of the GT Aggressor Pros when I didn't know anything, and I was trying to put this on the ZTZ. It was a damn mess. But you take a flathead to that thing, and you whack it enough times with a hammer, you can get it off. Uh, I think it was Evan that was just having some problems with his wrist headset. The other was day. he? Yeah. Did he get a Jessica? And he was talking about, I think he was in the comments or somewhere he was talking about getting one. Yeah. I don't think he said sorry, Jason. Mm. All right. Well, guys, let's go ahead and set this headset. All right, guys, here we go. We're going to set the top cup in first, and I'm not going to put any lube on it. Whoa, okay. no, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm going to keep her dry. No, you need to lube that. Well, there's no point in putting any grease or yes, lube on there. put some lube there's on no, there. There's yes. no pressure on it. There's no pressure on it? So no, that, it's so, a headset. So there's, there's no pulling force or pushing force. Okay, so right now you're saying it will go in freely. No, but you okay, know what I'm put, some, put a little bit. Of, no, put a little bit. We're gonna put a little grease on Thank there. Thank you. Because that's what Wolfman wants. Green Remember, Daddy wants. Man. That's right. Daddy gets. Daddy wants. Daddy gets. Daddy gets it. That's right. Alright guys, here we go. Are you ready to see the RockShox Judy Silver TK fork? Now last time I checked, you guys can go back on our fork. We did an independent real-time review and initial impression on it. Yeah, we did all the stuff on this. So if you guys want to go back, you can check those videos out. But uh, one thing I was wanting to say was uh, it ranked pretty high. The reason it didn't get, I think, the best was, I, I want to say it was the weight. A lot of that is associated with the quality behind the fork, you know? It looks excellent. I mean, just, I love the black on black. This is a better of the looking forks, in my opinion. Uh, something that I don't like about it is the rebound knob, okay? And we've talked about this on the fork review, but if you guys haven't seen that, or you're not familiar with this fork, this is the fork everybody wants, but I don't like this about a lot of the Rock Shock stuff, is they have this little rebound key. And it's just kind of annoying. It's everybody says, well, you can keep it in there whenever you ride, but I don't want the damn thing getting lost on the trail. Then it gets lost on the trail. I show that, and people go, well, you should have took it out. You know that you're yeah. supposed to. So you can't win. You can't win for losing. But uh, anyway, these Rock Shocks forks, 42 millimeter offset, 120 millimeters of travel, and of course they're for a 27.5. Now we're gonna do a little trivia question for you guys. Okay, I'm about to check the stanchion width. Is the stanchion width a 28 millimeters? B 30 millimeters or C 32 millimeters? I know the answer. Put your answers in the comments before pause the video, put in the comments. I think it's 28. Nope. It's not? No. 
I thought it was 28. It's 30. It's 30. Damn. I always think they're 28. That's one of the downsides, in my opinion. I can feel the difference with these forks with the rock shocks. Uh, they the stanchions look puny and they feel puny whenever you're riding on them. I mean, Melissa, you're gonna love these forks. These things right here will get down and dirty. You, you'll be able to get tons of air with them. You know, uh, you're gonna be able to bash on these things for a very long time. Okay, so one thing I want to do is we're going to have to cut the steer tube. It's an aluminum steer tube. We're going to have to cut it, but I don't want to mess with Melissa's geometry. So we are going to cut it the exact same length as the uh, Suntour fork here, okay? All right, so we're going to measure the Suntour fork that was on the Laguna Pro. And it's right at seven and a quarter inches. And we're going to go ahead and mark that seven and a quarter, the exact same. I think that's going to be the safest bet so we don't mess around too much. Remember, this isn't our bike. Now, while we're on the subject of steer tubes and all that, are you guys ready to see the stem? I don't know if you're ready for this. I think we've got one just like it on Project uh, Humpty Dumpty. There's another trivia question. What bike is Project Humpty Dumpty? All right, you guys ready? Look at that. These stems right here are sweet, buddy. This is the KR SEC 50 millimeter stem, and he got his in the oil slick because it's going to go perfect with Melissa's bar. So you kind of got some purple in there too. One of my favorite colors. Purple is my favorite color, but anyway, this oil slick slim is going to look sweet on there. Say that three times fast. Oil slick stem. All right, guys, go ahead and set the star nut. We're going to use the exact same one that uh, came with the Rock Shop fork. Now, one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in the fill link for you guys ahead of time. This is the uh, FSA star nut setter. You see that? Thread that on there. I'm all professional now. I know. Slips into the tube. Slide that over, give her a good whack. When you hear it bottom out, you remove. Nice and low. Mm -hmm. so we just unscrew that sucker. And it's like a hundred times better than the park tools crap. Yeah, that park tools was a lot of crap. I freaking broke that damn thing. I'll tell you what, that's also a hundred times better. hundred times better than getting a headset bolt. Mm -hmm. Knock and Put a little bit of grease around the bottom. We're gonna put that uh, crown race on this thing. All right, now let's go ahead and stick it through the uh, head tube, and then I'm gonna try to lay it all on there where you're holding it for me, and we'll put the stem on there tightly. Looks like we've got a problem. This is a 35 mm -hmm. millimeter bar with the 35 millimeter clamp, I should say. That's a 35, David. It's a 35, man. He's gonna tell you whoever you sent him to order. Well, he probably didn't the drop down. Yeah. And this is a 31.8 millimeter stem. So we got some bars over there. We'll have to do well, a little trade with them. Do you want to do that or do you want to, do we have a stem? No, I don't think we have a stem. That's got a, a 35 clamp on it. All right, well, purple bar ain't going to work, so we are going to have to stick the GT Aggressor Pro bar back on there. Yeah, hey, stem. and we just got done talking about well, it. You could, you no, we'll, we'll keep the regular one on there. We just got done talking about how much of an upgrade it is or much of a kind of nice it is to get the little upper echelon bike because you get a nice aluminum bar. So that's what we got here. So we got the grips on here, and I'll tell you what, them sons of guns are, they feel really good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, I mean, they're very sticky. Oh, Raxman 80, thank you for sending us these. And we got a few pairs. One of them is on our electric scooter. And Melissa, you're going to dig these grips. I'm glad they're uh, this size for the bike. You know that's what I mean? That's right, yeah. I remember I liked them on the scooter. Yeah, and the scooter's right over there. They're excellent on the scooter. They're called D-mounts. I don't know, they're hard to find, but they feel very sticky. They're a little on the thicker side. That should be comfortable for, uh, for Melissa. So what we're going to do, guys, is uh, we're going to weigh this bike. But I'm going to leave, just to be fair, I want to leave the shifter, um, the front derailleur and the rear derailleur. I want to leave those on there. We're just going to leave them dangling because we're going to be doing the uh, group set on this bike. 
All right, guys. Well, there you have it. That was the uh, upgrade stage one, I guess. I mean, David, me and you're gonna have to have a talk, buddy. I think he's got a 35 millimeter bar on his on his bike. Mm -hmm. I think he got a little excited and was like, "Oh, I'm gonna get Melissa a 35," you know? Okay. Well, she's gonna have the uh, FOMO, fear of missing out. David, we're either gonna have to talk to you and send you a fill link about a different bar with a 31.8 or a different stem with a 35. Yeah. But yeah. If she wants this big old purple beast on there, need a different stem. Yeah. So we've definitely got some options, but man, that was our first time working on a women's GT Laguna Pro uh, mountain bike. Size small. And guys... Did, did at any point did you feel it was different than the aggressor? No, no exactly. different. The standover is still terrible. <laughs> I <laughs> stood over it and it was still pretty bad. But uh, Melissa, hopefully you were happy so far. And we lost a little bit of weight. You know, we yeah, lost about two pounds, pounds or so. Yeah. And don't you guys forget, turn notifications on, subscribe, hit that like button, all that good stuff. Because I will give you a little bit of a teaser. We are going to be making this bike a one-by with a whole new group set that you guys are not going to want to miss out on. All right, guys. Well, as always, appreciate you watching Wolfzig videos. Again, please hit that like button if you guys want to support this build, support this channel, uh, support us, right, the wolf and the tick. You guys can buy us a cup of coffee That's if you us. like. And uh, you guys can become a patron. Check out our secret build that if, we got going on over there. If they can handle some language. If you and, can handle some language. Stuff, yeah. yeah. All right, guys. Well, we will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. If not, they can just do the coffee thing. I like this bar. I yeah. really do. We like purple. Yeah.